Many of you know just how much I love Edmodo. And today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at something called Edmodo apps and how we can find them, how we can install them in our groups, and how we can use them with our students. I'm also going to log in as a student so that you can see from the student's point of view what it's like to work with apps on Edmodo. So I'm going to go ahead and start by signing into my Edmodo account. Okay, so here I am in my Edmodo account, and over here on the right-hand side, um, I have a couple little uh, uh, things. If you don't have these little guys right here on your Edmodo homepage, that's okay. I'll show you how to get those in just a minute. But the place that we are going to explore today is right up here, and it's called The Store. So I'm going to go ahead and click on The Store. Okay, now we are located inside of the Edmodo App Store. And over here you can see I have $2 in available credit. I can purchase more credit if I want to pay for some apps. I am currently in the home area of the store. I can manage my apps. I can examine a wish list, look at my account history, and get help. I can also, if I scroll down here a little bit, I can browse apps by subject area. So I could look for apps about career and tech education and I can see when I hover over that that there are 16 total apps in that subject area. Computer technology has 41, creative arts 28, health and PE, you guys have 12 total apps, language arts, woo, 247, math 159, professional development 20, science 137, social studies 139, special education 67, tools and utilities 175, and world language has 78. Now what I love about the App Store is that Edmodo continually updates the App Store. So every time I come in here, there's always something new to see. Now if I don't want to browse by subject area, I can actually browse in a couple of different ways. Here in this top box, I see the top free apps. So everything that's in here, as I scroll through my options here, these are all free. So you see that there? That's how you can know how much it costs. And I can click on this next little bullet. I could also select see all in the free apps. We're going to look at that in just a minute. Now I'm going to scroll down. I can also see the top paid apps. Now what makes an app top? Well, those are the ones that are currently being bought a whole lot by a lot of people right now. So I can see there's a $5 flashcard app. There's a $5 teacher's timer app, sticky notes. And I can scroll through the top paid apps and see what else is available. I could also click the see all area. I could also browse by recently added apps. So these are the brand new ones um, that have recently been added. I actually have not, oh look, I haven't um, seen any of these before. These are brand new ones that were recently added or I could go with the see all area. All right, so the first place that I'm going to take you, of course, is into the free apps so that we can see what's in there. So I'm going to click on See All for free apps. So everything that you see in here is a free app. And what you do notice when I point this out to you is that it's free and it says unlimited. That means that you can install it in a group, it's unlimited, however large your group is, all of the members of that group will then have access to that particular app. Okay? Alright, so let's take a look at um, the paid ones so that we can kind of see a difference. So I'm going to go back to my store home and I'm going to click on see all for the top paid apps. Okay, now there's a couple of different things that you'll notice in here. Flashcards is $5 and that's for unlimited. So I could install that in a group as large as, you know, however many members it has, it's fine. Whereas GoAnimate is $79 for a group. 
Now a group is limited to a specific number of students. So you have to be careful because if your group has 32 students in it, for example, you wouldn't be able to install this Go Animate app for everybody. Let me click on install and see what it gives us. So if I wanted to, okay, so let's say I wanted to install it in my 20% project group. It happens to have 46 members. I would have to pay for 16 additional seats, which is $42.08 in addition to the $79 that the app calls for. So the app will pay for 30 members of your group. And for every child over that that's in your group, you actually have to pay an additional cost. Okay, so let me go back to the store home and I'll go back into the see all top paid apps. So that's the difference between group and unlimited. So I could pay $5 for this and I could have a group of 453 and that would be a fine app to install. Whereas for this one, this group only allows me to use it for 30 students at a time. So I would have to purchase this for every group of 30 that I have. So that's kind of the, the difference there. Just wanted to let you know. Now I can also browse by subject area over here. Okay, so let's go into health and PE and just see what's in the health and PE areas. Okay, once I'm in health and PE, I can see that I can actually switch over to the free area. I'm currently in the paid area. So these are the paid apps for PE right here. So I can see what's available and I can also go into the free ones and see what happens to be free. And I can also filter by grade level as well. So let me go into one that has quite a bit more apps in it. So I'm going to go into language arts. I'm going to click on free and I'm going to filter by middle school and see what it brings me. Okay. So let's filter by high school. Okay. And let's filter by elementary. And there are clearly some that are just rated for all grade levels. Um, so if you go and really drill down, you a you're actually kind of excluding yourself from certain ones. For instance, this No Red Ink one is one of my most favorite language arts apps ever. It's excellent for differentiation. Um, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it for middle school language arts teachers. However, when you go into middle school, that one does not appear in this particular area. Um, so don't narrow yourself uh, too strictly because you might be excluding certain apps um, that, that you may find helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back home because I'm going to look in the free area for the purposes of this demonstration. So I'm going to click see all for my free apps and I am going to look to get something that I don't yet have. Um, let's go into 100 plus projects and lessons. Okay, so if I click on that, it gives me kind of a description of this particular app. So it tells me that it's Common Core Align, project-based, problem-based learning, lessons in math, science, English language arts, and social studies with integrated task management tool for students. Um, so I can actually look at a demo. They have a video here that I can take a look at to see if... So that's very helpful that there's a tutorial video in here. I can also click on these and make them larger just to kind of get a feel for what's in this app. Okay. So I can just see some screenshots and things like that. And I can also scroll down and get some additional information. I can see similar apps um, and I can see more apps by this particular um, creator, if you will. Okay, so I actually see that I already have this app installed. So let me go back and pick something that I do not yet have installed. Oh, let's go to Storylines. This is an award-winning collaborative game to help students learn and master language arts skills in a creative way. Excellent. Um, so let's see what Storyline does. The straw that broke the camel's back. Okay, so it looks like you're going to be adding on to stories um, and that kind of thing. So that sounds fun. Oh, it looks like you can even draw. Excellent. I'm liking it. 
So Helen illustrates Leo's title, then Lewis titled Helen's drawing. Okay, so it, it looks like it's sort of a snowball effect here. Let's see. It's a creative game of telephone with pictures that students around the world are using to improve their vocabulary and language proficiency. Ooh, this would be good for English language learners. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and install this app. So I'm going to click on the install app button right here. And I do see that it is free. Yay. Now I'm going to pick my group in which I would like to install it. So I'm going to click my travelers group here. And I am going to click that I agree to the user agreement. Um, I see that I owe zero dollars and I'm going to go ahead and click install. Okay, all done. So I can go into manage my apps to view activity and con control group access. And I can view this and past installs in my account history. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to go into my apps launcher. So I'm going to click here. And these are all the apps that I have installed in my groups. So I'm going to see if I can find that app we just installed. Let's see. Here it is. So I'm going to try and illustrate what I just saw up there. Okay, now I'm going to click OK. <laughs> oh, and here's ours. Okay, so it takes you through a little tutorial, and then you can create your own. Okay. All right, let me show you what this is like from a student point of view. So I'm going to log out as a teacher and I'm going to log in as a student. Okay, so now I am Sally Smith and I'm a student and I'm going to go into the travelers group and I am going to go into my apps launcher because my teacher told me that she has a brand new storyline app for us to try. And over here I have little areas um, where I can actually drag apps into that I want easy access to, um, which is excellent. So this is where I showed you before I told you I would teach you how to do that. So I'm going to take my storyline one and I'm going to drag it over to the side. And there it is. And if I don't want it over there anymore, I can just click the X and it goes right back where it was. But for the purposes of this, I'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and open it because my teacher says that this is so much fun. She wants us working on this in our free time. So I'm going to go ahead and open this app which is available for me. And it takes me through the exact same tutorial that we just did. And then I can use this um, with the other students in my class.
So once you go into your apps, each of these apps um, you have to use in a different way. So you actually have to kind of go into it and play with it. A lot of the, the apps you actually have to click into and maybe assign to your class um, or create something that your class is going to then go in and view. Um, so you'll just have to kind of play around with them and um, check them out. Let's see if I can activate this one for one of my classes and show you how to sign in to this one. Let's explore the period of contemporary history and its achievements. Contemporary history includes the... <laughs> All right, so let me log in as a student and I'll see if I can show you that one. Okay, so as a student now I'm logged in and I can actually go through this whole game um, on my own. So see how it says Miss Beard has just installed the Contemporary History app um, for our group. Try it out. So I can click here and launch that particular app. Um, Blend Space is another good one. This is where you can collect a whole bunch of web resources and share them with one link. And there's the app for it in Edmodo that is free. And I'll be doing a tutorial about Blend Space um, a little bit later on. So you can feel free to come back to the website and see that video tutorial as well. That's basically Edmodo apps and how you can use them for your students. And um, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful.